Hey everybody and welcome back to Devil Dog Reactions. Uh, so today I'm going to be reacting to another Queen song. Uh, it's one that I got a lot of requests for. It's White Queen, live at the Hammersmith Odeon, 1975. Uh, this is a first time reaction. I don't believe I've ever heard this song, uh, unless I heard it and I didn't know the name of it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard this song and I definitely have never seen um, a video or live performance of it. So this will be a first time reaction. Uh, so thank you to those that have recommended this. If you like the video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe so you can get notifications when I drop other videos. I have been doing mostly Queen because that's been what people have been requesting. I did do a Phil Collins uh, video in the air tonight of a live performance as well. I'll put some of those links in the comments so you can check those out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into it. Number called White Queen. I'm not familiar with the venue, but it all it looks uh, much smaller than kind of more of an intimate setting than some of the other venues that I've seen. You know, them playing large stadiums with, you know, probably eighty thousand or more in the crowd. So sad. Such a breathless night as this On my brow, the light is kiss I walk to the one All around, the air is safe My lady soon will stir this way So I don't know Yeah, so I definitely have not heard this before. This is my first time. Um, I really like it so far. It's, it's definitely different from some of the other stuff that I've heard of theirs. Um, very, this song relies a lot on Freddie for this one, just his vocals and kind of the emotion that he's putting into it. Although I, I, there's some really uh, neat drum fills in the back there that I can hear Roger doing during these little transition points. Um, and then just... Uh, Brian, you know, just this subtle, ar ar mostly arpeggiated chords that we're hearing in the background there. But cool so far, I like it. There's those arpeggios. How did the affair would have you seen The mother of the willow green I call the nail
like um, or I like this instrumental break in general, but um, you get both the piano and the guitar doing these these ascending and then descending lines. Do 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 do. Um, and then Brian just gets into a, a little more um, of, of emotion. Well, one of the things that I like about Brian, Brian's playing is like, even though it's not like it's, he puts, you can feel the emotion in his playing. Like you can just, just feel those coming through, which, which is incredible. And I, I put him up there with anybody as far as guitar playing. There's other people that may be able to play um, you know, more difficult licks, but nobody plays with more emotion than, than Brian, than what I've heard so far. Another really great performance. Um, I love the arc that we get with a lot of the Queen songs. You know, they start off, especially this one, you know, it starts off, I don't want to say bare bones, but the instrumentation is, is kind of light and it's Freddie singing and, and bring that emotion. And then it just kind of slowly builds and builds and builds. And then we get to that middle part where um, it's almost like a, a jam session for them. Um, where they're just feeling it, and, and I mean, the emotion continues in there, even without any of the vocals, right? Um, and we've seen a little I've, a little bit of jamming in some of the other songs that I've done, but usually there's still some vocals going on. This is the first one that I've seen of a live performance where it's, it's um, very instrumental heavy, which is cool, I, I like that. Uh, and then, so then we, they arc, and then they come back down on the other side, close to, you know, the way that it began. So it's just this really nice rounded, you know, uh, form that they have with, with their songs. But uh, very cool, very cool. Like I said, I, I had not heard that before. I liked it. I, I'm going to have to go back and listen again, I think, to, to catch some more of the, the lyrical stuff. But I was kind of caught up with um, just the difference in instrumentals and stuff like that that I heard with this one. But that's one I'll definitely be listening to again. And... Um, you know, maybe I'll put in the comments some of the things that I found in, in the lyrics as well. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'll put some links to some of my other videos in the comments section. Um, if you did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe uh, so that you can see some of the other stuff that I'm going to be doing as well. Um, and that is it for me. I hope everybody has a great day. Do something nice for somebody and spread some positivity. See you next time.